do that. I'm supposed to hold a public hearing. Hold on a minute, guys. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Okay, we'll now open the public hearing. If anyone would like to comment on this item, please come forward and state your name and address for the public record. <coughs> it's getting late, so I understand okay, I completely why. forgot. <laughs> Sorry Once again, that. Martiana, my, my office address is 130 North Cherry in Olathe. I uh, couldn't uh, concur more heartily with Mr. Hamill's recommendations, especially as it concerns the one change that he suggested you all make. But before I go any further, I want to thank staff and Mr. Hamill and Mr. Frazier that was very accommodating and, and very nice of you all to set up that public meeting for us to have a chance ahead of time to talk with them, to converse with them. And they were very helpful, as was staff, to uh, hear us, to, to have the patience to sit down and listen to our concerns. So uh, we have certainly appreciate what you all have done for us in that regard. Back to the point, uh, I, I do go back to my earlier comments. I think the concept that was alluded to by Mr. Hamill of having the blue oval over that area indicating that it's an, uh, a matter that needs to be studied. And it certainly is a very important, it's a difficult, it's a complex matter. We concur with that approach. Uh, I had talked with him about the fact that there was a concern on our part that there was an inconsistency with that other page that he mentioned and, and I would concur and, and wholeheartedly agree with his recommendation that you all with the change of um, eliminating that dash of road realignment and instead indicate that it's subject to future study wholeheartedly would support your comprehensive plan. Thank you again for your patience. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak this evening? I move that we close the public hearing. I'll second. I have a motion to close the public hearing made by Lavella with a second by Kinsey. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries with all in favor to close the public hearing. Upon closure, do we, uh, that, that bring any additional questions or comments up? I'll just check if not. <laughs> I would entertain a motion for this item. Does the motion need to reflect these changes that were discussed by Mr. Hamill? Yes. yes. So would Just trying to figure out a word that yeah. before I do a motion on it. Revised changes? Or? If you'd like, I can enu just enumerate what those changes were for whatever's easiest. Yeah, please. Were, sure. were you yeah. planning on uh, accommodating or incorporating all the changes that he mentioned? Certainly the first two, and I, I don't have a good note on the third point that he made, page 96. That was about the traffic study. The traffic, um, that was about the... Uh, page 96 was about the Johnson County um, oh, adult yeah, education. Oh, adult education, right. gotcha, 96. And, and I, it, in my opinion, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a major substantive change or be committing them to anything uh, unawareingly. It would, it would simply cite them as a potential resource that the city should reach out to and coordinate with. So cite, cite them as a potential resource. Okay. And 77 basically just involved changing the photo? Yes. And then, of course, page 79 had to do with the change in the alignment indication? Correct. Or not indicating a specific alignment. For or not indicating an alignment, okay. So I'd have to list those that way in a motion? I would say that uh, list them um, that way in the motion and again previously it mentioned some of the changes that were were made you want to mention those in the motion as well so um, do you need some help yes. formulating the motion <laughs> um, let's see. many of the changes are on the as posted on the website correct the changes already made by the city I would the way I would put it in the motion is that the uh, Changes, the cosmetic changes and the change to the transportation plan map, I think it was page 79, as introduced by staff. And the changes uh, presented and recommended by uh, Doug Hamill. So 
Um, let me think about this. So I move to adopt resolution number PC1402, adopting the City of Gardner comprehensive plan with the changes as introduced by staff at tonight's meeting, as well as the changes recommended by Doug Hamill, um, reflecting what occurred at the at the open house and forwarding that recommendation to the governing body to approve the Garden Comprehensive Plan replacing in its entirety the Community Development Plan and existing Comprehensive Plan for the City of Garden. Does that sound okay? Yeah, and you can just, just say, say so moved. Move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will so move the best recommendation yeah. on that. Yeah. <laughs> So I will so move. Second. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so we have a uh, <laughs> motion made by Tim with a second by Lavella to uh, go with what staff recommended. <laughs> I don't know if that's really politically correct, but I think we're just going to go with that if that's appropriate. Legally appropriate. All right. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries with all those in favor this evening. Wow, it's late, guys. Sorry about that. We do have one other business item, that being to elect chairman and vice chairman of the Gardner Planning Commission for the 2014 through 2015 term. Are you guys happy in your position? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm right. happy to let anyone else have a try or continue as Is anyone service. else feeling strongly that they want to assume one of the chairs? No. I nominate Adriana for chairman. A second. We have a nomination made by Lavella with a second by Barber for um, for your Adriana Vader yeah. to continue in her <laughs> position as chairman. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Or stuck with vice chairman. I also nominate Raymond Kinsey for vice chair. Second. Oh, wonderful. We have a uh, nomination made by Lavella with a second by Barber to um, uh, nominate Raymond Kinsey as vice chairman of the uh, Gardner Planning Commission for the uh, 2014 through 2015 term. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Okay, so motion carries. Welcome back. Um, with that, we don't have any other business on the agenda this evening. Nothing else from staff. Can I? Uh, I move that we adjourn. Second. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. We have a uh, motion to adjourn. We have people of Bella with a second by Barber. All those yeah. in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Meetings adjourned. Yeah.